Okay, welcome to, let me put that down, it's a little full. Welcome to this week's episode, shadow episode of Performance Cafe. So uh, I had to call myself on my own nonsense last week. I know last week I had a bit of an off week. I was ill in bed. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you for asking, even if you didn't. Um, and really relieved that the COVID test came back negative. But uh, I'm back now. And I realized that last week in my in my hurry to get a video done because that was the commitment I had slipped up and I had used my old background. And so I'm back with the new background this week and hope that you are liking it as much as I am. So last week, Wednesday, I did a mentoring session and the concept was change management in organizations, in teams, businesses, whatever, it doesn't have to be a huge organization. But interestingly enough, the question of course came up, which I suppose I should have expected with all the uh, vibes that we've got, all the hype going around the vaccines and COVID-19. Um, the question was, how do we get people to vaccinate? How do we change people's minds to vaccinate? Because the change management process I was talking about was very human centric and about how do we help people understand the need for change and all that kind of stuff. Anyhow. And uh, this question came up and I mean, it was like left field, not quite what I was talking about. And it was so interesting because I respect where that person is coming from. You know, um, across the globe, people are living in fear of COVID. We are concerned for ourselves, for our families, our friends, people with comorbidities, children, non-children. I think only the animals are free of it right now. And, um, and it was so interesting because what I thought of was this, I got the impression this person, and, and I'm speaking only from my perspective because, of course, I didn't know the person and there was a question that was on a chat. They had this, I felt like the, there was a binary approach to either we go, we vaccinate or not. Uh, either we're right or we're wrong. Um, interestingly enough, then racism uh, came up as an example. How do we change people's minds about racism, about, about patriarchy, about all these things? And I said to them, look, World peace, that's next week. But the interesting thing here is that I'm not sure why we persist in seeing the world in binary. So would I love a world free of isms? Yes. Genderism, racism, you know, uh, vax, vax, vaxisms. Um, because yes, we do need to live together and we do need to agree and have shared norms around certain things. But we must understand at the same time that we are working with humans and we are working with complexity. So it's quite interesting if you, if you understand what complexity is about. When something, uh, for example, you're baking a cake, that's not complicated, right? You take, the you take the ingredients, there's a list of them, you know exactly how much, you know what to do with them, in which order, look, in some of our cases, it still goes wrong, but we can bake a cake. But when it comes to humans, it's complex. And the reason that it's complex is because I start at point A, do something that I assume is going to get us to point B, and then it sprouts all the other letters of the alphabet. And that's what we must understand about humans, is that they're not that predefined. It's not a machine that breaks that I know I'm going to replace that part and it's going to fix it perfectly. We must understand that if we fix this part, we affect a whole bunch of other parts, and then they, in their, in their own way, think of other parts. And I think that's the problem with the way that we sell anything, from a pair of shoes to the way that we try and solve the isms and world peace. We need to get away from this very binary concept of what is right and what is wrong, what is logical, what is illogical, because it just depends where you stand and what you're looking at. So, for example, in our, in our coaching, we always use the example of two people standing across from each other, and there's a figure drawn on the floor between them. Now, one, of, one person looking at it is going to see a nine. The other person is going to see a six. Who's wrong? Who's right? Right? It's all about a matter of perspective. So, as we go about solving world peace, COVID, and all the other isms, I'm not saying these aren't valuable fights to fight. But always make sure that you understand everyone's perspective because there isn't a thing 
that is right, wrong, and binary anymore. The world's gotten too big. I'd like to remind you to please like and subscribe on YouTube. If you're following, following us on Facebook and LinkedIn, please like, share, comment, and then go to YouTube and subscribe. And so I hope that starting off this week on such a complex path uh, wasn't too much for you. I hope you find that advice useful. I'll see you next week in the next episode of Copy Companions on Friday, where we've got part two of Wolf. And uh, he's going to carry on telling us about situational leadership. Have a good one.